Hello Vincent's Collection viewers, welcome to my channel. This week the client requested an epoxy table made of olive wood with live edges and a cloud pattern. Let's see what kind of design we made together. Well, first we need to make a wood combination according to the customer's request. Trees were hard to find, as the client described to me, but we found the curved logs he wanted. If you want to see more such content, you can support me by subscribing to my channel. The long sides of this table will be the live edge, so we will be able to see tree folds on the long sides. The short sides will look straight. We cut the tree stumps we have chosen according to this request. As in the olive wood epoxy table projects we have done before, we need to clean the bark of the tree stumps on this table. After cleaning the shells, we need to sand it to have a smoother surface. Then we will darken the edges of the logs for appearance. The blackout process is exciting. Well, it's a very fun phase. We blacken the edges, that is, the edges that will join with epoxy, with the help of fire, so that the trees get a more rustic look. Well, we make one surface of the tree flat with the help of CNC machine before pouring epoxy. This surface will stay on the bottom surface when we frame the tree stumps. The reason we flatten it is to ensure that the epoxy doesn't seep under the tree. No matter how many years I've been doing this job, I can't help watching this machine scrape the surface. After this stage is over, we will frame the tree stumps and pour the epoxy. If you want to see more such content, 
you can support me by subscribing to my channel. We are in the last stage before preparing and pouring the epoxy. You are currently following a mold preparation process for this design where tree stumps will be placed. First of all, after the epoxy process is completed, we apply wax material to easily separate the table from the floor. If you want to see more such content, you can support me by subscribing to my channel. As I said before, the long sides of this table will be the live edge. Therefore, we will not frame long edges. With the help of MDF board pieces and silicone on the short sides, we build a wall so that the epoxy does not leak. It is very important to apply the silicone properly so that this wall does not leak. We are preparing our epoxy material for casting. We add a certain amount of hardener into the resin and mix it. The color we want to achieve is transparent blue. For this, we drop a certain amount of blue pigment into the resin and continue mixing. The most enjoyable stage to watch is the epoxy casting stage. First of all, we pour the ocean color epoxy well. Then we will give the table a look just like ocean waves with white and light blue epoxy. Then we will pour transparent resin. If you want to see more such content, you can support me by subscribing to my channel.
Ne? stumps got thinner, the natural cavities of the stumps appeared on the table surface. We fill them one by one with the epoxy we prepared. Then we'll move on to sanding. If you want to see more such content, you can support me by subscribing to my channel. Now it's time to smooth the table. To do this we need to staple the table top. We use long numbered sandpaper first. The goal here is to smooth the wood and epoxy from coarse to fine. We increase the sandpaper numbers one by one. Although this process takes a long time, it is very important for the feel of the table.
Well, the final stage of the table is polishing. With the help of pastry polish, we make the epoxy brighter. At the same time, it ensures that the table is as durable as the first day with protective materials against scratches while polishing. Both the lower and upper surfaces of the table are sanded and polished. The tabletop is finished. Now it's time to make the legs of the table. Our metal worker at the workshop constructed the frame and leg that will be attached to the table according to the customer's request. Tabletop, legs and chassis are ready. Now it's time to combine them. The most enjoyable part of our job is to combine them and see the result. This result really fascinated me. It was a different, beautiful design. I hope the person who buys this table always feels special. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for my similar interesting designs.